Okay, Year 9, I'm going to go over the last one that we have to do, which is linear modelling. So here we have different situations that present a scenario where you can draw a linear relationship and therefore you can make predictions about certain things. So let's have a look at the first one and we're going to start with question four. The first couple are just working out equations, but we're going to start with question four. So a sales representative earns $400 a week plus $20 for each sale. So we can write that as a linear representation. And they tell us what to use. They say the weekly wage X sales. Well, the wage, and we're just using W, equals, well, every sale is worth $20. So it's 20 times the number of sales plus $400. And straight away, you can see that that's a linear relationship. And you can pick some points. So I'm just going to pick some points. We only need to pick three. So normally I would pick negative one, zero, and one, but this time for my X values, because we can't have negative sales, I'm going to start with zero, one, and uh, let's go five. And W, well, when I let X equal zero, I get 20 times zero plus 400, so it's just 400. 20 times one plus 400 is 420. And 20 times five is 100 plus 400 is 500. Now you'll see in a minute why I chose five. So now it says, draw a graph of W versus X. So when you're doing this, it's very, it's going to be useful. I'm going to put the wage here. And we're going to put the sales here. Now, I've got a zero. And I'm going to go up in fives. So you sell five things. And this is going to be very hard for me because I'm doing it freehand without a ruler. 10, 15, 20. And I'm trying to keep it to scale. I'm just going to move that X down a bit. And along here, my wage, I'm going to use a different scale. So come on. Go up in hundreds, 100, 200, 300, that's a bit dodge, 400, 500, 600, we'll stop there at 700. Now I'm going to plot my points. So the first one, is zero and 400. Well, that's there. The second one is one and 420. I'm not going to try and plot that, but I'm going to plot the five and 500. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 10 in as well now. I'm going to put the 10 in there. Well, 10 times 20 is 200 plus 400 is 600. Okay, so 10 and 600. If we go up, that should be about there. Now, well, I'm not going to use that. Get rid of that. Uh, and I've, no, I've lost that point. So 10 and 600 was about there. And I'm going to draw a line. through those, it looks like, like that. Now it's not exact. It's not exact. My scale is a bit dodge, but when you do it, you need to do it with graph paper or on a grid line. Well, what else? And that is the graph of this 
sales representatives' wages, which is 20x plus 400. Now you can see why we don't have negative values. We don't have negative dollars because they're not going to lose money because they get 400 base salary. And they, you can't sell negative amounts of things. So we're only using the positive part of the linear of the Cartesian number plane, if you wanted to call it that, or we're just doing a normal graph as we would have if we were in doing it for any economic sort of situation. Now, the next question says, how much does the sale representative earn if in a particular week they sell 12 or make 12 sales? Well, you can have a guess by drawing a dotted line. So coming up here, you go, oh, hold on, I'll use we go up here with red. Going up there. Come on. Whoops. Well, I've lost one note, so I'll have to get that back. So I hope it's all still there. All right, yes it is. So we'll do that again. So 12 is about, well, is about there, we go up, hit there, and go across. And you can have a guess at that, what, what is 630, 600 and something. Or you can use the formula. If 12, if x equals 12, well, w will equal 20 times 12 plus 400. 20 times 12 is 440. Sorry, 240. Plus your 400 gives you 640. And mine's not too bad. It's a good enough approximation. If in a particular week, the sales representative gets a thousand. Well, again, I should have drawn this further. Up here, and it's not straight now. And there's 800, 900, 1000. And if this line had continued up here, and I'd go oh, a thousand across here, come down, going through these things I've already drawn, and I've gone across here, 25, 30, all right, 35, somewhere close to that maybe, but because I've done it all pretty freehand, it's not that good. So you can use the graph if you've done a very accurate graph, or you can use the formula. If W equals a thousand, find X. Well, a thousand equals 20X plus 400. Minus a 400, 600 equals 20X. Divide by the 20, and you get 30 equals X. And you can see my graph was way off on bad scale, dodgy work. But that's exactly what you're doing. All right. So four is similar. Five's similar. Oh, sorry, five similar. Six, you've got a catering company. It's usually all about cost. But what we want to really get is one that, oh, we'll do this petrol tank one. So we'll do question eight. A petrol tank holds 66 litres of fuel. So this is not a money one, it's another good one to do. If it contains 12 litres of fuel initially and the petrol pump fills at 3 litres every 10 seconds, find a linear equation where for the amount of fuel in the tank. So fuel, well, we're going to put T there, plus it's already got 12 litres in it. So it's filling up at three litres every 10 seconds. So it's going up three for every 10 seconds. But they want 
time in minutes. So three litres every 10 seconds. Well, we're going to have to multiply that by six to get a minute. Six threes are 18 litres every one minute. Because we times by six. So 18 times the time in minutes plus 12. Okay, so now I've got my equation. And remember the tank fills up in 66, so we can't we can't go past 60. So I'm going to put time along this axis, usually put that on the horizontal, and fuel along here. Now I'm going to go up in 12s with my fuel because I know it fills up in 66 and 60. Oh no, I probably should go up. No. I'll go up in tens. It, it's going to be a bit of a guess, but we'll, we'll do the best we can. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And again, I've left myself short. Oh, that's dodgy. 70, because it fills up in 66. And along here, I've got minutes, so I'm going to go up every two minutes. Two, oh, I might go up every three. Uh, if I go up to 10 minutes, that's, that's 180 litres. I don't need to go up to then. I'll go up in one minute increments. One, two, three, four, five. I won't need to go any further, six. Right, so again, I pick some values. So T, and I'm going to find out what F equals. So I'm going to start T equals 0, and that's going to be 12. And we go T equals 1, and that's 18 plus 12, that's 30 litres. And then we go T equals 2, well, that's 36 plus 12, is 48 litres. Now I'm going to plot those points. And remember, my scale, because I don't have a ruler, I'm doing it freehand, it's not brilliant. But here we go. We've got 0 and 12, so I'm going, that's about there. 1 and 30. Well, that's pretty dodge. That's a bit closer. 1 and 30. And 2... And 48. And then I'm going to draw a line. And I only have to go 66 high. Right there. Whoops, let's make that green again. Now that's the equation of fuel equals 18t plus 12. Now what questions did they ask? How long will it take to fill the tank? Well again you can use the graph. So 66 is about there. And I'm coming down about three minutes. But there's an easier way. The tank will fill when F equals 66. So 66 equals 18T plus 12. If I minus the 12, that'll give me 54 equals 18T. Divide that, well, 3 out eight. Oh, look at that. My graph was almost, well, was spot on, three, set, three minutes. How long will it take to put 45 litres into the petrol tank? Now, I don't know what they're asking here, and I haven't got the answers up. To put 45 litres, well, there's already 12 in there, so I have to go to 57. 
So again, I go along here and I come down and I'm getting two and a bit minutes. But again, if I used a formula, remember the formula is F equals 18T plus 12. And I want to put in 45 litres. There's already 12 in there. So I've got to put in um, 57. So 57 equals 18T plus 12. If I minus the 12, that gives me my 45 equals 18T. And I'm going to need my calculator for this. And if I go 45 divided by 18, so 45 divided by 18, T, uh, 2.5, 2.5 minutes or two and a half minutes to put 45 litres in. Righto. Okay, so they're reasonable questions, but what we need to talk about is a break even question. Now, let's have a look at this question because this is exactly what you're going to get. It's a sausage sizzle. So Joanne organises a sausage sizzle. And here we go. She's trying to raise it. The higher the barbecue is $20 and sausages are 40 cents each. So the cost, and they're cooking N sausages, is 0 0.4. Now, why did I change that? Because it's in 40 cents and I've got dollars. And 40 cents is 0.4 of a dollar. So 0 0.4 N plus $20. That's a cost of running the sausage sizzle. Now, Joanne wants to sell her sausages. So I want to find the selling price. And the selling price is 1.2 N. Now, the reason I did it like that is because this is how I want you to do it, because this is how it's going to come out on the exam. So, first of all, let's get myself a really nice big grid. Right, there we go. Now, the first one. Well, I'm going to plot. So, on here, I'm down here, I'm going to have N, and this is going to be the dollars. So it's going to be the same grid line for the cost and the selling price. So here we go. Let's take the cost first and we'll do a little table for it. So cost equals 0 0.4 N plus 20. So I'm going to pick some values for N and I don't know, what do we do? Let's make it nice and easy so we can get rid of that decimal. Let's make in, let's say they sell 10, 20, 30 sausages. The cost, well, if I sell 10 sausages, that'll be $4 because 10 times 0 0.4 is 4, plus the $20, 24. If I sell 20, well, that'll be $8 because 20 times 4.4 is 8, plus the 20, $28. If I sell 30 sausages, well, that's $12, plus the $20 is 32. Okay, and I'm going to plot those. So I need to get my stuff along here. So along here, I'm going to go up in 10s. 10, 20, 30, gee, that's a bit to dodge, 40, 50. I hope they don't sell more than 60 sausages. 
And along here, the cost, well, again, I'm also going to go up in tens. Ten bucks, twenty dollars, thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars, sixty dollars, seventy dollars, eighty dollars. All right, so when they sell, so this is going to be really hard because I'm going to have, I'm guessing here and I didn't use a ruler, so my graph is not going to be brilliant, but I can do it. So 10 and 24, so I'm just going to put a dot about there. 30, uh, 20 and 28. So that's about there. This is going to be really poor. Uh, also, I should have tried zero because zero and that, and I'll just put in 30 and 32, so that's about there. And then I draw a line, and that's my cost. The cost equals. 0.4 n plus 20. Now, my selling price. My selling price is 1.9. So let's do a little table for it. Selling equals 1.2. And I'm going to use n the same values. So I'm going to pick n equal n. I'm going to go zero this time. I should have done it last time. And the selling price. So zero, zero. If I sell, don't sell any, I don't make any money. 10, well, 10 times that is $12. 20, well, that's $24. 30, well, that's 312, $36. Remember, I only have to do three points. So I'm going to use a different color this time. So I'll make this one orange. So... Zero, 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 10 and 12, that's about there. 20 and 24, that's about there. And 30 and 36, there. And this time, I'll do um, blue line and that is a graph one point two N. Now here is the most important bit. And we'll do it in light blue. That, this point here, is the break. I don't want you to link to shapes. Thank you. That is the break even point and if they hit that mark up until then if they don't sell any sauce if they sell less than that amount of sausages they'll lose money if they sell that amount of sausages they'll break even and then if they sell more than that it'll make a profit so what is that point well if we come down here it's a bit more than 20 all right 22 22 sausages and we can see that it happens somewhere between there and there. Because if you sell 20 sausages, you get $24. But it costs you $28. But if you sell 30 sausages, it costs you 32. Whereas if you sell uh, 30 sausages, you make 36, you make a profit of $4. 
Now, you can use solving simultaneous equations, solving simultaneous equations to do that. And I'm just going to do that really quickly. So I've got cost equals 0.4 N. Or you can read it off. So what did we say? We said it's about the number of sausages to break even, to break even from the graph. approximately, it's more than 22, 20, I don't know, 20, 24, I'm going to say 24 sausages. And that's okay, that's all you need to do from the graph, but 0 0.4 plus 20 and S equals 1.2N. Well, to break even, I'm just going to solve them simultaneously. I'm going to make them equal to each other. So 0.4n plus 20 equals 1.2n. I'm going to minus 0.4n, so you get 20, equals now 1.2 minus 0.4 is 0.8n. And then I'm going to go divide by that 0 0.8. So 20 divided by 0 0.8. And that will tell me exactly the number of sausages. When I go to my calculator, 20 divided by 0.8. It's 25 sausages. Now from my graph, and my graph was not very good, I was reasonably close. Oh, no, not really. I should have been there. That's how it should be done. Now, if you do a very accurate graph, you'll get there very quickly. And let's go and have a look because I've got Desmos up. And remember, it doesn't matter the variable. So I've got y equals 0.4x plus 20. And I'm going to go y equals 1.2 x now you can see there and if you go there you can see it tells you the coordinate where they break even which is 25 and they make 30 dollars if they sell 25 sausages they make 30 dollars and that's how you work it out so to do some linear modeling, and we're going to do some more in class, you need to be able to get an equation, which is pretty easy, plot some points, and then use that graph, all those equations, to solve some of those. Now, we'll do more of this in class. This is just for the people who will be away or who may have missed it or may not have got it. Good luck.